Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you before we got into the vlog. This week, I've been a little bit MIA. Um, I haven't posted in like two weeks on YouTube and I haven't done that in years. I have been incredibly consistent, something I was really proud of. I feel like 2021 was my most consistent year and I just got burnt out. I just like haven't wanted to pick up my camera. I haven't wanted to film. I haven't wanted to edit. I I've just felt so like I can't move when I think about picking up a camera and filming and editing and doing any anything related to social media. Photo, I can't post stories, I can't post a YouTube video, like I've just felt so burnt out. I've just felt so unable to move and do work and I, I'm in the biggest, the biggest rut. So if you are watching this video, thanks for sticking with me. And if you have any requests, anything you like to see of mine, please leave it down below. This vlog is a bunch of random clips. And so I wanted to just film this intro and let you know that it is a bunch of random clips kind of pieced together. And it doesn't show you an accurate week. Um, it kind of is just whenever I decided to pick up the camera and you'll probably even be able to tell in this video that I don't look that happy. I've been feeling just incredibly insecure, incredibly burnt out. I haven't wanted to do anything related to social media or video or photo and that's really hard in the industry that I'm in when it requires me to be on camera all the time. So that's just how I felt lately. If anyone else is feeling the same way, please let me know because I haven't felt this way in a really 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 long time and it's just been really hard and a hard season that i'm in in the sense of just overwhelming stress and so i just appreciate you guys for being patient um i hope that this vlog does tell sort of a story but if not it's just random clips that i've gathered and i hope that you enjoy i'm talking to the camera a lot i'm just kind of chatting and showing you bits and pieces of my life but you're definitely not getting a full picture so definitely keep that in mind too. So I'm hoping that I get better. I'm hoping I feel better. And I'm hoping that you guys like this video and stick with me, even though it's been quite some time since I filmed. So let's get into the random clips and the random vlog. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday. This week, it's actually going to be a pretty fun week because I am working a lot. Um, there is elevator music playing in my apartment and I don't know why. There was a speaker that went off earlier today saying that the fire alarm was gonna go off as like a test, and now they've just been playing elev elevator music all day. It was so scary. I was literally in the bathroom, like on the toilet, and all of a sudden I just hear a man. And I was like, is someone in my apartment? But it was just the speaker telling us that there was gonna be like a fire alarm test. Um, but now it's just elevator music playing. Like, is that the fire alarm? I don't know. Okay, guess you can enjoy that background music while I talk to you. I just got some Amazon Fresh delivered, but I instead I did like the Whole Foods delivery. I'm gonna do a little bit of prep. Um, I have chicken breast. I also only have sandwich size bags, so I might have to cut the chicken, but I'm gonna marinate it in this ginger curry marinade that I just got so that I can make this in a few days for dinner. To do my makeup, I have to pick Keon up from the airport. We're actually going to a heat game tonight, so we're just gonna kind of hang around Miami um, instead of like coming back to my apartment only to like go back to downtown. So that's gonna be gonna be what we're doing today. And then this week is Art Basel. Honestly, I have no clue what it is. I think it's just a lot of like, people that come to Miami and throw parties for art. I don't really know, but I did get invited to a few events, so I'm gonna go to that. Right now I'm just gonna marinate the chicken. I can't, this elevate, like why is elevator music playing in my apartment?
So I just picked Kian up from the airport and we found this little street food place. So we are at El Zambo Street Food, Colombian and Latin food. I got pata con chicken. Um, and you've never had this before, but it looks really, really good. And then you got, what was it called? I'm not gonna ask you to pronounce it. <laughs> Something with steak, onion, and eggs. And uh, fries. And fries. Fries are really good. Mm. get a few packages so I wanted to do a little unboxing here. I think my manager sent me a gift. I'm really excited to open it. Ooh. I don't even know. I think this is it. Oh my gosh! This is so nice! She got me a carry-on. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I think she sent me this. I'm assuming this was her. This is so nice. These are like really, really, really nice suitcases. It's from Ramoa. I love it. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna text her, say thank you. And then I desperately need to start buying people gifts because I have not bought any gifts so far. So that's what I'm gonna do next. so tired I haven't been getting much sleep lately actually no that's a lie I've been getting a lot of sleep I think I went to bed yesterday at like 10 30 and I got up at 7 30 so you know I got my eight hours but I've just been so tired I don't know if it's because I just recently got off birth control and I am now going through like my first cycle not on birth control so I haven't gotten like my real period yet because um, it hasn't even been a month it's been like three weeks but I do have an app that like tracks my cycle so that I can know like what stage I'm in like I want to know when I'm ovulating I want to know all of that stuff so I'm just curious like I haven't felt what my body feels like naturally since I was 15 and I had gotten my period only a few years before that so I'm honestly really excited to be off birth control and to kind of like I don't know just feel more myself again. I didn't have that much of a negative experience on birth control. I will make a whole video on it once it's been a few months about my my like thoughts and like how I felt getting off of birth control but I think it's because I was on it from such a young age whereas um, I kind of like my whole literally like my whole puberty and on like since puberty i've been on birth control um so now that i'm off of it i feel like i'm feeling everything again and i feel like right now i'm supposed to be in my cycle of like feeling fatigue i don't even know what it's called i have the flow app so i'll like i don't know what it's supposed to be but all that to say i am just tired yesterday i went to an art basil event but yeah it was fun it definitely was fun it took me it took me an hour and a half to get to South Beach. Normally I'm like 30 minutes away from South Beach and it took me one and a half hours because of traffic. So it was a five o'clock, we left at five, so already traffic from that. And then Art Basel traffic. And then I went to the game and from South Beach to the heat game, which would only take like 15, 20 minutes, um, it took 45 minutes. <laughs> and then we left early, so. It was fun. Candace Swanpool was there, which was cool. I didn't get to like talk to her or anything, but it was really, really nice. I always feel like influencer events sometimes are overhyped. Like I really like the free stuff and I like the free drinks and like mingling. And a lot of times they're really cool. Like it's like a party, you know, so they are fun. But a lot of times I do think they're overhyped, but I will say the vibe in Miami compared to the vibe everywhere else is very different but it was you know still like a more typical influencer event but i remember when i would go to events in la it was just like the absolute freaking worst it was people would i've literally had this happen before people would come up to me 
asking for my Instagram at an event. And mind you, at this point when I moved to LA, I think I had like 30,000 followers. So like, I mean, it's still a good amount. Like it's not a little, but it's not like a million or anything. It wasn't verified, you know, so. <laughs> and um, I remember people asking for my Instagram, like, oh, you're so cute, like let's get Instagrams. You know, everyone tries to like, think about LA events as they all try kind of like talking to you. Like, it's all like, oh, hi, how are you? And then they get your Instagram. And then that's when they determine if you are worthy to talk to or not. So there was a lot of times I would introduce myself and no follow. They'd literally have me on their phone. I'd like follow them because they would give me their Instagram. And then they wouldn't follow me. And then they'd be like, okay, bye. It's just the most superficial place that I've personally been to. I mean, some people love it, and I think it's because you need to find your core group of friends. But if you don't have a core group of friends and you're trying to make friends there, it can take a while. And I didn't have a long time. I was there for one summer. So I didn't have time to wait a year to make my core group. I just experienced one summer, and that's how I felt. But in Miami, I just felt it was more, like, chill. Like, no one kind of talked to anyone, which honestly, I kind of like. <laughs> At least you're not fake. So I'm going to drink this. I'm so thirsty. Chug some water and then decide if I'm going to work out or not. Cheers. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Again, it was random clips. It was bits and pieces of my life, a little bit of a highlight reel. Um, what I didn't show was a lot of stress, um, me feeling anxious, and just being overwhelmed and burnt out besides this clip. This is me showing that. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please leave me requests with what you wanna see. If you guys have ever felt a creative rut before, drop your tips down below because I just, it's bad guys. I've got it bad. So let me know what you want to see. Comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you guys aren't too mad at me for missing out on quite a few weeks and definitely not doing vlogmas. Um, but I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.